So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use is disabled method to check whether a particular element exists on a web page or not. This is a good method to use for verification tests. So whenever you want to verify a particular text or a particular element to exist on a web page or not, then you simply use this method is displayed in your test. So I'm going to check for this log did you know so i'm going to inspect the element and check the block did you know okay it says mp dash tyk so we are going to use this id to first search for this element and then we will have a condition in if and else block to simply display the message whether that element exists or not. So let's start by creating web driver. Create Firefox driver. Now let's go to Wikipedia it's English version. Right now let's create instance of element driver dot find element and then check with id check for mpdyk and simply close it now i'm going to use if and else block so if make sure element is not displayed so not element dot is displayed that means it is not displayed then we will run the message system dot out print ln element not displayed okay now we will use else and in this block we will simply print out element displayed Okay, so now we know how to simply use this in a logical block. So we first imported Selenium and Selenium Firefox driver classes. Then we created instance of Firefox, navigated to wikipedia.org. Then we are searching for element by ID mp-tyk. And now we will check within if else block whether that element is displayed or not. So this is a simple program to check with is displayed method for elements visibility. So run the project and you will find Wikipedia loading. While on console, you'll be able to see the message. Okay, so element is displayed. Let's change this to something else as E D K okay so some random number and I'm going to run the test again to see whether element is displayed or not make sure this is random otherwise if by any chance you have that element on web page you may not get this message okay so this drops in error and you can see that particular element is not displayed and so you can instead use try and catch within this and you can catch the error instead of getting all this console full of errors so now we know how to use is displayed method for finding